It's Absolute Radio, and look who's here. It's Narina Palo. Hello. Hello, hello. How are you, madam? I'm a bit tired today, but apart from that, I'm very well. I think I'm about to get the giggles, though. That's fine. That's <laughs> fine. It always sounds good when they play on clip shows, just people laughing for no reason. There's something infectious about it, yeah. and at the same time, it takes out away the responsibility of having to say or do anything interesting. That's true. So, um, Shall I just start laughing now, then? <laughs> you do, do, do that. <laughs> Uh, what was I to say to you? Um, we were talking before about how it would be. We had Martin Fry of ABC in here earlier. Really, this evening? Yeah, and he was lovely. He was really lovely, but it was slightly disappointing that he was wearing a tracksuit and not uh, a gold lame not a shell suit. suit. No, he, no, he's, the one he's that wearing the gold. It, it wasn't. It was just a tracksuit. Right. There is a distinction between shack and, uh, track and shell. And um, <laughs> but he wasn't wearing the gold lame jacket that he used to wear in ABC. And I was thinking how lovely it would be if people came in here wearing things they were famous for wearing and following that logic why aren't you wearing the bunny costume oh, no. from the front of your album well I, if you just told me that you should have tweeted me then i would have worn my bunny costume so do, do, this is on narina's new album the graduate which is out now yes um you are dressed as a bunny a bit like jimmy stewart in that film where yeah, he's dressed as a bunny harvey which yes. i love it's one of my favorite movies it is a great film yeah so do you now own that bunny costume i yes i do i do own it and hilariously um, I, um, there's something in the zeitgeist and clearly I have impeccable taste because Nick Cave has used the same bunny costume on the cover of his new novel. Is that right? Yeah, uh, The Death of Bunny Munro. It's my costume. Well, it's not, not my one. It's not my personal bunny one, but it's the same costume that I have. Where does one acquire a bunny costume from? Well, I got mine on the Chalk Farm Road in Camden and uh, I think they've got, they've got about three different kinds of bunny ones because I've got the other one that they do as well, which is the zip-up one. I just want to make it clear, just in case anybody's listening and uh, get, getting lusty, we're not talking about the bunny costumes no, no. like the Playboy no, girls no, wear. nothing like that, like proper full-on fur. <laughs> I've always found it strange that there is a sexualisation of the rabbit in our culture. Do you know what, I've never really pondered that, but now you say <laughs> that, perhaps I should take this moment to... Do, the, the Playboy yes. bunny and the caramel bunny, of course. I don't know. Well, we do say, like, they they procreate at an alarming pace, so maybe it's sort of sort of a... A comment on women being sluts or something. I'm maybe, not quite sure. maybe so. It still, yeah. it still strikes me as odd that I if you want to make to a woman claim it and be a proper bunny animal, you see. And it must get you must be making your own gravy in there. What? What does that inside mean? The, you must be <laughs> sweating your own juices oh, inside yeah, that bunny really, costume. Really hot. I did a video um, a few weeks back on my, my little YouTube thing, and I, I did I was playing the drums in it. And by the end of it, it was it's a bit manky. <laughs> Perhaps I shouldn't have worn it actually because it's probably a bit smelly by now. Does it fit in your washing machine? Do you know, I haven't tried. Perhaps it's time to try. It hasn't been washed yet. No. <laughs> oh, I bet it reeks, that thing. Hey, uh, the new album's called The Graduate. I strongly advised you against calling it The the Chronicles of Narina or whatever you were going to call it. Chronicles of Narnia. Yeah, fortunately yeah. you took my advice. Yeah. And I think The Graduate it's a, is a great title. And you were back in uh, education doing all well in popular culture. Yes, and, oh, you've got a good memory. And this was the last time you were in here and you were about to get the results of your degree through. How did you do? I got first. Congratulations! <laughs> That's brilliant! I know, it's my graduation next month. Actually, last week, I mm. booked my gown and my mortarboard and all that malarkey. From the same place you got your bunny costume? <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, no, no. <laughs> you go to a really posh place. I've forgotten the name, but it sounds well posh. And, uh, yeah, I'm really excited. And are your parents going to come to your yeah, graduation? they're arriving. God bless my parents. They always choose the most potentially stressful time of my life to arrive. So they're arriving next week while I'm in the middle of touring and I've got the builders in. Um, but yeah, they're going to come. They can project manage you for you, the builders, That's can't true. they? They could do, but you know, they'll want entertaining and all that, won't they? They'll just have to want. Want don't get. <laughs> um, so, are, are they proud of what you've chosen as a career, or now they see you on the uh, on the road to academia? Is that are they more comfortable yeah, with that? I think they're much more hopeful about that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and my dad's sister is a doctor. She's like a really serious academic. So I think he's hoping that I was just a bit late in the day getting mm. into that. But yeah. Have you thought about chess boxing? What? what is this? What's you don't chess? know about chess boxing? No, tell me. It's it's the new big thing. I need uh, a new pastime. Well, it's 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 fairly easy to work out what it is. It's a new extreme sport that combines both chess and boxing. I thought you said chest boxing. No, that's a different. Th that's a different thing altogether. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's 
you play a certain amount of chess and then uh, then you start punching the other person and then you sort of, and, and then uh, you go back to playing chess until one of you either has checkmate or the other one passes out I think that seems like a slight like missing the point of chess though it's sort of gentleman's war isn't it with well, that, no punching yeah but it's you know if chess was missing out on punching for those people who thought it's not for me it's not got actual violence you can still in it. outlet your violent tendencies yes yeah, yeah. Uh, the British right. champions of former cage fighter. I wonder why I haven't heard of it before. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, here's something I wanted to ask you as well. How posh are you? Um, on a scale of one to ten, mm. what's very posh and what's, like, chaved them? <sighs> well, I suppose, uh, like, Boris Johnson or David Cameron would be right there at the yeah. top of poshness. Okay. And then, uh, I don't know... Like Annabelle would be down at the bottom. No, you wouldn't, you wouldn't really, actually. <laughs> you, you affect that estuary accent, don't you? I'm a number seven. Like. Yes. Number yeah, yeah. seven. I reckon I'm about a number six or number seven. Because actually. you come from Jersey. I do, yes, but Jersey people are normal. I thought the they most... were all, like, tax evaders. No, 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 no. That's a common misconception. If only that were true. Mm. But um, most Jersey people... Like, I, I'm proper Jersey. I've got a very Jersey name. It's very common there. Narina is common. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very common. Um, but they do, they do have a law that to live there, if you're not Jersey born, you have to come in with DOSH because they're trying to make it a massive. Well, it's been a tax haven for the last 20 mm. years, but they're going hell for leather at making it more so. But most people are normal, like everyday Joe blogs. And then I think it's like something like 2% of the island are stinking rich and everyone else is fairly 